Today we're going to look at some general limits, or rather we're going to define general limits informally for now. Um, so far we've seen some examples of simple limits, the, ex the examples we've seen have been terminal objects, products and pullbacks, and so I'm sure you're all dying to ask the question, what is the formalism that links all those things to each other? Um, now, the first thing we have to work out is what is it that we take a limit of, or rather, of what do we take a limit? You may be used to limits in analysis where you take limits of a series of things xn as n tends to infinity, or you take the limit of a function f of x as x tends to some certain value. Um, but what we're going to do here is we're going to take limits in categories. So what could we possibly take a limit of? The answer is we're going to take the limit of a diagram. So we can take any diagram. Here is um, here's a diagram. Here we have some objects. Uh, we have some morphisms. Here are some morphisms. Here are some other morphisms. So here is here is a diagram, um, and the slogan to remember is that a limit for this diagram, I'm in the way of the diagram, a limit for this diagram is a universal cone. So let me just write that up. A limit for a diagram in C is a universal cone over the diagram. So we need to know what a cone is, and then we need to know what it means to be universal for a cone. Now we've seen universal properties before, where we said that it was somehow the best, or the biggest, or the smallest, or something. So it's going to be the same for cones. So first of all, what's a cone? A cone, a cone, a cone over this diagram consists of a vertex. So it's going to be sort of cone shaped, starting here and going as a cone down here. So we've got a vertex U, which I'll put here, in blue, I hope that you can see the blue, together with, for every object in this diagram, a morphism, which we will call a projection morphism, down to here. I'm going to do this in colours because this diagram gets a little bit busy after a while. So that's what we get, such that Every triangle involving projection maps, two projection maps, commutes. So let me just vaguely draw a kind of wiggly thing around the diagram. So the stuff in the stuff in this kind of circle here is the diagram over which we're taking the limit. Of course, the entire thing is happening in a category. Um, so it consists of an object, an object U. For every x in the diagram, a morphism, a blue morphism from u to x, and such that every triangle commutes. So it's going to be a triangle that starts at u, has a blue map going down to the diagram, and another one. So we've got one going to x and one going to y and a morphism f from x to y. So this morphism f is happening down here in the diagram. This is for all morphisms f from x to y in the diagram, okay, such that this commutes. So that's what a cone is. Now, um, you can look at all these cones, all possible cones, and decide which is the best one. What does best mean? It means that any other cone factors through this one. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, let's draw another cone first. Supposing we have another cone whose vertex is at V. I hope you can see that that's orange. Now, because it's also a cone, it also has projection maps going to every object in the diagram. 
Okay, this is where the diagram gets quite busy. So we've got a projection map. I hope it's sort of vivid. Uh, and one more going down here. So there's another cone, and the point is that the the orange one has to factor through the blue one uniquely. So what does that mean? It means that there's a unique morphism here. Okay. So universal universal cone means given any other cone given any cone there exists a unique morphism going from the non-universal cone to the universal one. So here's the orange V here is the blue U and here's our unique factorization going in between them, which I'll call H. And because it's a factorization, what it means is that, that every triangle involving this factorization has to commute. So that means such that, so we always have the following thing. Here's our factorization. Here's our blue projection. And here's our orange projection. And that has to commute. So let's just fill the labels in here. This is V, the non-universal vertex. This is U, the universal vertex. And this is any object in the diagram. So this has to commute for all X in the diagram. So let's just go over this one more time. A limit for this diagram down here is a cone such that, given any other cone, there is a unique factorization like this. Cone means that all of these triangles commute. Factorization means that the triangles involving the pink thing and two different projections commute. And so what we're saying is that what the idea of this is that this the vertex of the cone, U, somehow captures or sums up the entirety of this diagram. Somehow it's enough, you, you kind of get what you need to know about this diagram from knowing about this object up here. And what we'll do next time is we'll see how the examples of limits we've had before are in fact examples of these universal cones.